Welcome to the Nita Sunny Girl. Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Drew, your hostess with the Moses, and of course, I am back again with another video. And today, I got a cute, pretty lady. She is the Casua Ambassador, and we have driven over five hours from Accra or Casua to get to this pretty location. So let's see what it has in store for us today. Don't go anywhere, and remember to like, subscribe, and comment. So, um, we're driving past, we see that there's a crocodile pond over here, but I'm not going to go there because as you said, trespassers will be eaten. We've got like some flowers going on along here. It's looking interesting guys, looking interesting, a little bit of a garden, it's drizzling a little bit, but we will not let the rain ruin the experience. Okay, so Mama Sika, tell us a little bit about you. Um, so I'm the Kaswa ambassador. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Yeah, I was born and raised in Kaswa, and Kaswa kind of has a bad name, so I was like, I'm gonna change the name, the perception mm -hmm. about Kaswa, and I'm gonna go to places that I want Kaswa to be like. Yeah, like this place, it's so neat. Yes. Yeah. Right. And so, so, how did you hear about it? Um. So. It just popped up on YouTube. I just saw like a TV station, I think Joy News or something, just posted the cleanest town in Ghana. And I was like, oh, I'm definitely interested because yeah. the sanitation in Ghana can be better. Crazy. Yeah. So, so then, yeah, she came and messaged me in my DMs and was like, Drew, have you been there before? And of course, you guys know, travel with Drew. I'm always about finding new spaces in Ghana and places that look cute. And so, of course, we collaborated. Isn't she cute? She's like, <laughs> she's automatically like my little sister now, like <laughs> forever. Really? Like, that's it. So, we are about to see what this place has got in store. And, guys, it's already green. We are in the palace. So, Mama Sika is teaching me about this place until we find the chief. But it's apparently going to be one of the biggest palaces the big in Africa. Africa. Yeah. Africa, guys, not Ghana. The biggest palace in Africa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. She is. Which palace is better? <laughs> Listen, she's already said it, guys. Mensha Palace or this one? Ooh. Oh, I think this one. Hey. So I've seen peacocks, and you guys know when I went to Kumasi, there were peacocks in the Mensha Palace as well. Like, I wonder what that even means. Um, I guess, like, peacocks are flamboyant, and, you know, a palace is all about royalty. Ooh. Royalty is all about the, you know, fabulous stuff. Ooh, you know? okay. <laughs> yes, so guys, she's a smart lady. <laughs> But look at the view, the sunset is coming down. Listen guys, we drove far, far, far. But it's all for the content. Do it for the gram, that's what they say. Okay, so we're continuing. I mean, don't, today guys, when Drew's not looking on point because they're a little sleeping in the car. <laughs> but yes, okay. Do you know, we just saw a peacock fly. I didn't even know that peacocks could fly, guys. Or is that just me being a bit? Blonde. <laughs> oh, guys, there's ostriches. Oh, because it's a botanical zoo. Is it a botanical zoo? No, no, no. No, it's a botanical garden. <laughs> Look at the ostrich. Well, hello, hello. How are you? 
There's one, there's two. Maybe it's a male and a female. Nice. They do look, look at the eggs. Oh, they have ostrich babies. Oh, ostrich, well, there's ostrich oh. eggs, guys. Oh, they're so huge. Oh, they my are God. massive. Oh, my goodness. So cool. mm. Okay. The moment we saw the ostrich eggs. What? Guys, there's everything here. We've got some birds. Guinea fowls. Guinea fowls. Oh, God. no, they are guinea pigs. Look at them in there. Guinea pigs. And then we've got little birds in here. Oh. Monkeys. Oh. Look, we've got a duck. <laughs> Where's the cheeky monkey? Come on, cheeky monkey. How are you? <laughs> Can you guys tell me the name of this animal over here? I feel like I've seen it on a country's flag, but I just don't know the name of it. Look at that. Beautiful though. And I found the duck that flew over over there. He's meant to be over here with this family. Duck pond. These are ducks. There's loads of them. Oh look, there's more over there. Oh guys, this place is huge. No, these are turkeys. Okay, so we've got more geese. And then look, there's a turtle or tortoise in there. It seems like I'm seeing a lot of tortoise in Ghana recently. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> so honestly, it just seems like there is so much to see and do in Ghana. Even coming on the way here, I mean, we found out about a story about a giant that you know, he came with his wife, but his wife turned her back and turned into salt. And he was leading some people here. And that the story was crazy, guys. I need to see it. Now, this is the chief of a town that we got to just before we got to Essen Cache. And he was telling us a story about a big 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 giant that yeah. used to literally basically live in that yeah, town yeah. now before people were there or actually this giant came with his family and i mean he had a wife that died because she looked back which really reminds me of the story of lot in the bible you know but anyway he was talking about how the giant's beard was so big it would like be used as wool for the whole town and that he would eat so many it would like the amount of corn that they would use to feed him would be crazy i mean yo the story was wild i definitely 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 wish i could understand so i could translate for you guys but you already know mommy seeker she got the full story on her page so do, do go and check her out but i'll get another update for you guys in our part two but yeah back to the cleanest city Yo, there is so much to see and do in Ghana, and I thought that I had done it all. But that was a lie. I still have videos I need to release for you guys. Like, honestly, it's not a joke. Look at this. I'm guessing they need to finish this over here. But it already looks so big and so majestic. I know for a fact that these animals mean something. This is the wolf clan, I'm guessing. I'm just saying things, guys. But I don't know. Now, as we're walking through the garden, there are more flowers, there are more plants, there's just more nature. And the air here is even different, guys. 
it is different. Have a look at this botanical garden. Now, if you look at this properly, I think it is an adding cross symbol. It is an adding cross symbol. If you can guess the name of the adding cross symbol, put it in the comment section. I don't want to ruin the name. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the name of what I think it's called. But look at it. Now, I don't know if you guys can see these little white things. I thought they were real birds, but they're actually fake birds, giving the illusion that, you know, the garden is full of animals. But then sometimes you get a real bird, like that one over there, that actually is looking for his friends. I guess they're just not talking to him. <laughs> this is beautiful, guys. Okay, so... All of these little um, sculptures at the top represent different, different proverbs. So, I want, what about the elephant, the one with the mouth, the tortoise? Come on, brother. All right, which one is that? The, the person who climbs the bush is pushed. Oh. Yeah, and this one, I think it's the about sharing. Which one? Oh, this one, the crocodile with the, thing. Okay, the crocodile one is about sharing. Um, this one is like a story about Tortoise that helped the ants or whatever. The tortoise that helped the ants? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Know. All of them, but I think. Alright, what about on this uh, side? There's, there's a story about a uh, dog and a bird. Dog and a bird? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Brother Seeker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really waiting for this to be complete, guys. And I mean, there's lots of wolves and dogs and... Yes, definitely I think part of a wolf clan. I know that my grandma said something about wolf clans and different clans in different regions, but... Hey, Wolfie. <laughs> He's building this to promote tourism in the town. Wow. Yeah, and so all this place is going to have African history and like anything that has to do with Africans, Africans in the diaspora, African, African is going to be here. Yeah, and I, there was an interview with the king, chief. He said that the history of Martin Luther, Malcolm X, Kuma, wow. all everyone is going to be in here. It's really big and it's really beautiful. There's more there. dog statues over here. Yeah. And I'm loving the bins. I wonder what the dog means. Really. Exactly. I know that there's something about a dog clan. There's different what? types of clans. clans yeah. And I know that there's a dog clan, but he loves his dogs and his wolves and his canines. So, yeah. But all of these bins, guys, were done by the chief because he wants to promote no litter in his cleanest town in Ghana. We don't want any litter over here. So even when you're in Accra, just because you can't see a bin painted in the Ghana flag, doesn't mean you should drop your litter on the floor. Guys, oh my goodness. Oh my, we've spotted I, someone. We I must found, report them to the chief. I bet this person is not from this town. No. <laughs> But yes, inside here, I can't wait for it to be done. But at least, guys, yeah, you can say, Miss Drew made it first with, of course, Mama Sika, who invited me here. And I love that. A beautiful collaboration. Look at these pillars, guys. So tall. We are going through the walkway. Yeah. Yes. 
is beautiful and peaceful here as well. Very, very peaceful. Let me show you guys more of the walkway. Very relaxing. I mean, I tell you guys all the time, there's something about nature that just oh, blows my mind.